Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and I'm a designer based out of the Atlanta area. And today I am going to do one of my most requested videos, quite possibly one of my most requested of all times. I am going to be sharing with you my top picks for Ikea curtains. And a lot of you have been asking for this specific video because curtains really do matter in a space and sometimes they can be very expensive. And so I thought that we could go and check out Ikea together, see what they have and see which of the curtains that they offer I would actually use either in my own home or in my clients' spaces. I hope that sounds like something that you'll absolutely love. Make sure you hit subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up today. That way I'll know that you really love to chat about not only Ikea, but curtains. So I'm gonna give you lots of ideas today and as I go through, I'll share why I think something really works and why I think something really doesn't and I hope it'll be really useful for you so that you can make sure that you pick the right curtains and hopefully we'll get to save you some money as well. So. Let's jump in. We are starting off today with the Moa Lisa, which is one of my favorite curtains. I absolutely love the little black trim on this gorgeous curtain. These are pale and transparent and will definitely give you a light and airy feel to your space. These are 50% cotton and 50% viscose. They're perfect because you can throw them into the washing machine and you don't have to worry about maintenance on them, but they'll be beautiful for many years. As you can see here, I'm looking through all the different options that they have at our local Ikea and I'm passing on quite a few but there are a couple gems that I really want to point out to you. The Tabast is one of my absolute favorite curtains that Ikea sells. I love these because if you want to block out some glares on the TV or on the computer, if you're wanting to have a little bit of privacy but still have some light coming in, this curtain is perfect. I love the subtle pattern. These are made of 100% cotton, so they can also go into the washing machine. I think those are all really important things when you're investing in a curtain. You could hang these on the hidden tabs or you can hang them on your rod and that really gives you an elevated look. Next up we have the Moalina. These will definitely give you just a little bit more privacy but you'll still be able to see light coming in from outside. These are really beautiful. They come in three different colors. The fabric is 55% visco and 45% cotton so you'll also be able to put these in the washing machine. The only thing that I don't love about these is that ring on the top. So personally, I would just shorten those and take the rings off, just buy them in a little bit extra long length. But I have to say, these are $29.99 for a set and the Tabast is $39.99 and they look really similar. I think if I had to choose, I would personally recommend going with the Tabast because then you won't even have to mess with shortening them at all. I wanted to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. From websites and online stores and all kinds of marketing tools, we have found over the years that Squarespace is an absolutely incredible platform to bring your business or your personal life online. What I love about Squarespace is that for me as a designer, I was able to create my home where other people visit me and it feels like home online. It is literally an extension of my brand and who I am. And so it was really important to me to be able to play and to create and to have this place that felt so me when you visit it. I know that you're going to absolutely love it. I hope you'll go check it out. Squarespace has given me a code for you guys to use. Go to squarespace.com backslash House of Valentina to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to some curtain shopping. We are moving right along and Ikea has a bunch of really great patterned curtains, but personally, I don't really love them. I just don't feel like this is something that I would necessarily invest my own money in because they're a little bit trendy. Instead, I would stick with the Moalina, which we've already featured in this video. You can see them here in the beige color and it really is just a great curtain. And I think that this will really elevate your space and help it to feel more sophisticated. Now we're gonna move on to another section of curtains and see what else we can find. Next up, we have the Ana Casa and these are absolutely gorgeous. And if you're looking for a room darkening curtain, these will definitely help keep most of the light out of your space and give you the most privacy. These are made of 100% polyester and they come in beige and they also come in dark gray. 
I think the fabric of these is really beautiful and they definitely feel really high-end and sophisticated. You can also hang them by the hidden tabs or you could put the rings on these. Either way, I think that these are a great choice. For $69.99, it's definitely one of the most expensive options from Ikea, but that is still really affordable for what you're getting. Curtains are a great way to add a feeling of luxury to your space while also giving you privacy. I would recommend hanging them as close to the ceiling as you can. You can also watch our curtain video where we give you all kinds of tips and tricks on how to hang your curtains. Next up, we have the Vilborg, which is $44.99 for a pair, and they do come in five different colors. Of course, I love the beige, and I think that that is the color that I personally would go with, but these are 100% polyester, they're machine washable, and they are room darkening. So I think this is another great option. I think it will definitely be something that's really affordable for you. I love the fact, as you might notice, that I like when you can hang them from the clips or the hidden tabs. I just think that that really elevates the look overall. And that's what I'm really looking for when I purchase a curtain for myself or for my clients. A lot of these curtains, while they are budget friendly, are not necessarily the most voluminous. So you may wanna think about getting an extra set so you can really double your fabric. I started to really look through all the different options and I really wanted to show you that I definitely do not recommend everything. Some of these just really aren't a style that I would really use. I don't want a faux silk. I don't want a lot of these patterns. And there's a lot of color, which is really in right now. So I would generally not choose these. However, the Tabast in this dark red is actually quite pretty. And I've been seeing this really on trend. And I think that Ikea actually does a really good job of making these colorful curtains look really appealing. Again, these were the ones that were $39.99. They're one of my favorites. I think that the fabric is really beautiful. I think that they really look sophisticated hanging up. So if you're thinking about investing in something that does have color, if you're one of those people that craves color, I would highly recommend looking at the the different options that are available in the Tabast because again, look at that fabric. It is just gorgeous and I really, really love it. Oh, it's just so pretty, isn't it? Just like before, these will definitely block out quite a bit of light, but they won't be completely room darkening. So I think they can still be light and airy so that the color doesn't feel super heavy. Here you can see we're looking at lots of color. <laughs> it's definitely not my thing. I have 100% put pink curtains in my kids' rooms. I've even had turquoise in my own, but I typically don't do colorful curtains in my spaces. Here you see this sort of silk stripe. I don't know, it's it's just not my thing. It's not, it's not something that I would normally go towards. I would, however, recommend the Dutog, which is $69.99 for a pair, and I know that's definitely at the top of the budget for an Ikea curtain. However, these are 100% linen. They are beautiful, they are light and airy. If you are looking for something that will create a softness in your space, that will filter out light, and you're not really looking for something that's gonna darken the room, these are a great option. You've got several color choices, five actually, and the fabric is really high quality. These can definitely go in the washing machine as well, and that's a really big deal. Here you can see we've moved on. I'm really checking everything out. You can see here where I'm looking at the rings and I'm like, oh man, I just, I just don't like those rings. I just feel like it just really cheapens the look of your curtain. I'm really looking for something that's going to create an elevated and sophisticated look in my space. So I'm, to me, it's really important to put my hands on everything, to start touching it, to feel it, and to make sure that it's something that when I pull it closed, it's gonna create an experience, even just for me. And it's also gonna look good when it's just hanging on the window. I think that those are really important things. That's my litmus test as to whether I think this is something I would buy and something I would pass on. I've had a slew of ones that I definitely would not buy, and now we're gonna move on to one of my absolute favorites, and that is the Sanela. This is quite possibly my favorite product I have ever bought for all time from Ikea. I think that the Sanela is literally one of their best products. Clients, people who come to see my stage homes, like everybody wants to know where I got the Sanela curtains from. They always look super high end. They are room darkening, which is great. They give off this feeling of luxury and, and a sort of richness to a space. I absolutely love them. I've owned them in multiple colors and 
I highly recommend them. You can see here where I am moving about again and I am touching and feeling and really trying to look through these to see if there's anything else that I would recommend because I really wanted this to be a comprehensive roundup of curtains that I love. Now here we're looking at the Marita, which is one that I have actually owned. And I think that they're really, really similar to some of the ones that you could get at West Elm and other places. The problem is, is that they have those rings and I just don't love that. Other than that, I think they're really great. Here you can see we're just moving about, checking out more. Don't forget that if you're interested in some of my other IKEA recommendations, that we have an entire IKEA playlist and you can check out I've basically for years. I've been rounding up my favorites, going through what I think is a good find and what isn't. Yeah, kind of like here. <laughs> I'm showing you a lot of things that are not my favorite and some things that I'm like, eh, the Linda's okay. I don't know if I would buy it. It's all right. But yeah, I just, I love to be able to share these things with you. So definitely check out our playlist so that you will not miss out. And now we are moving on to the one curtain that you guys ask me about all the time because it is in my house in several places. And that is the Ritva. I absolutely love this curtain. You can see it here in my own home. Uh, again, I have it in a couple different places. I've got it in my bedroom. I have them in my office. I was on the hunt because I needed to pick up an extra set from my bedroom because I wanted to double these, but I love them. I actually own them in the white, which is really more creamy than it looks on the website. But looking at the gray option online, I was like, um, did I miss that in the store? Because that is beautiful as well. And now I'm gonna be on the hunt for that. But again, these just have every feature that I'm looking for. You could use the back tabs. I always like to put, actually, I don't have them just on the rings. I have both methods being used in my house. So the fabric is gorgeous. They are machine washable, which was really helpful because when we were renovating our house, mine actually got dirty and I was able to throw them in the washing machine. They block out some light, but they don't block out all light. They are 100% cotton, but they have a feeling of linen and that's why I love them so much. I thought it'd be helpful for you guys to also talk about some of the panel curtains that are available. Most of these I would pass on. I, I just don't love them. It's something that I just don't really put up in my homes. It's not something that I would put into my clients' homes. It's an option at Ikea that I just regularly pass on. Same for the lace curtains. They have a couple options and I just don't love this netting. I don't really love the lace option that they have. It's not that I'm opposed to those materials necessarily, but I just don't love the options that Ikea is giving at the moment. So I personally would just move on to something else and think about what the other options are that are available to me if you're looking for something that's sheer. They also have the roller shades and the roller blinds. And I actually, at first glance, was like, oh, I don't like any of these. And then I was like, you know what? Actually, the Sandoval, and those actually look pretty good. And what I like about these is that they don't have a metal rod across the bottom and they are light diffusing. And if you get them to match the color of the trim, whatever color your wall is, they can actually really disappear. Here's another option, the Langdon. This one's in a gray. So I probably personally wouldn't put a gray on a white wall. I'd probably put that if I had a gray wall, but it is easy to open and shut these and you can kind of hide them at the very tippy top of your window if you have that kind of window and you can kind of hide them at the top. Here's what I was talking about with that metal. I wouldn't want that because that's gonna draw attention to that piece and I would want these to really just kind of disappear. They do offer privacy and they are more room darkening this whole collection, which is why I wanted to bring them up because if you don't want to have curtains that are really heavy, these options can really help you to darken your room. But again, they can look really, really heavy. I would definitely think twice about using them. We used these a lot in Denmark because it was bright basically all summer, which is funny, right? Your room darkening during the summer, but they do have automated options and they do darken your room. And I know that a lot of Europeans use these and some of my American friends, but most of my American clients are not looking for this product. The Scottis is another product that I've definitely seen in my friends' homes when we lived overseas. And I was like, oh no, there's no way I would use this. And then Ikea makes them look so good. But truthfully, I would avoid this product because it really isn't the best 
quality. I would definitely look at some of the other things that they have because for $5.99, I think it's a little bit tempting. I mean, if you just need a quick fix, this is a great solution. But I just don't think long term, this is something that I would personally choose to put into my home. The Free Dance is another one that's a block out. <sighs> you guys, it's just not my favorite. I, I don't like the blue. I don't really like the white. It just reminds me of those vinyl shades that I had when I was a kid and you had to like pull on them to get them to go up and down. If you're really desperate and you just need something quick, maybe, but I just probably wouldn't choose this for, for myself or my clients or my friends and family. I, I just, I feel like it just really makes the quality of the room just kind of go down. However, the Ring Bloma, now that one is a great choice. This is a Roman shade that comes in several different sizes. So if you happen to look out and it's the size of your window, then you're gonna be really excited about this one. It is 100% polyester. It is machine washable, but I don't know. A Roman shade, I just think usually of like a light cotton. So I, I kind of feel like I need to tell you both sides of my feelings on these because they look pretty good. They're gonna block out quite a bit of light. They do come in a stripe, which I personally would never use myself, but they do have predetermined places in which you can raise them to, which could be useful and it could be annoying if you wanted to raise them just to a specific height. They also have pleated and cellular blinds and shades. I generally wouldn't use these. I think they feel too commercial. I just personally would avoid these if it was me. Now, the other thing that's really interesting that Ikea has are these track systems. They didn't have any in the store and I really wanted to be able to look at it in person. I've seen a lot of homes where they use them in a really modern way and I think they look really, really cool, especially if you can attach them right at the ceiling or even on the ceiling. But I didn't get to look at them, so I was a little bit frustrated because this was one of the things that I really wanted to see with my own eyes as to whether it was something that I would want to use because I just don't know. I think they could be cool. These curtain wires and clips, those are, again, options that I probably wouldn't use myself. And same for the curtain rods. I feel so bad. Sorry, Ikea, I just don't love these. I've owned Ikea rods. They're definitely good quality, but they just don't look very, they don't look like they're high quality. Does that make sense? Like they'll get the job done, but I just don't feel like, I don't know. They're just not my favorite, especially in the white. It's just, uh, I don't know. I've owned them before. The brass definitely looks probably the best quality, but when you, I saw them in person, I literally didn't even take a video of them because I was like, oh no, I was on the hunt for a curtain rod and I did not buy this myself. So I think that's a pretty good sign that you need to pass. Here you can see they do have the rings. They are a small opening. I think that they're maybe an inch opening. It just depends on what kind of rod you have, whether that will work. They do have them in the chrome. They have them in the, the brass. They, they have them in all the different colors. But again, I think you could be better off just maybe looking somewhere else for these items. I just don't feel at this time that there's something that I would recommend that I would feel good about putting my stamp on and telling you that this is something that you would enjoy. And I mean, I feel like that's what you came here for is that you want honesty and that's what I always want to give you when you come to the house of Valentina. <laughs> well, I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video. I know that I love to go to Ikea. I always say that's how you're supposed to pronounce it because I just get so excited when we get to go to Ikea. So I hope that you really enjoyed today's video. I hope that it's been really helpful. We hope, of course, that you'll stick around and hang out with us a little while longer. So make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a big thumbs up. Let us know down in the comments if you own any of these curtains that we've mentioned or if you now have them on your shopping list. Thanks again for stopping by and I'm gonna go hunt down my coffee. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.